Very quickly, you can create a social clip done inside of CapCut. So if you go to CapCut's website, you can create social short viral clips using their AI tools, okay? So this is actually on their website. You can take that podcast episode that you created, you can drop it in, and very similar to Opus Clip, it's gonna go in and kind of decide what your best social clips are, okay? Again, just like with everything that we're discovering with CapCut, you know, kind of hidden behind a paywall, okay? And you will need to put some money into it. But I played around with it, and yeah, it's not half bad. It also is worth mentioning that CapCut does have templates for social media clips. The templates, I'm kind of eh on. I'm kind of hit or miss on because like, I tried searching for podcast templates, and I didn't really find any that I liked. So I went through the process of just making it the old-fashioned way by hand, okay? Now, the way I did this, I have different layers. And in this, this is using just the exported clip here. You can see that this first clip is just the two shot, okay? But it's been sized up and it's been scaled down to be on top, right? The bottom clip is the same deal, okay? If we take that clip, it's the same shot, right? But it's been sized up and scaled to be on the bottom, okay? And you can, we would play this back. We can just take a quick listen to it. I am home. I'm in Chattanooga. Sometimes I might be on the road in a hotel room, but That's right. when I'm home, I want to celebrate it. <laughs> and I'm in a bunker and I realized I lit a candle in here underneath my Dolly picture. If y'all can see that behind me and it looks like I'm doing a, a small prayer vigil to Dolly, but I think we all should. <laughs> well, I think we all should too. I think that's right? a good patron saint yeah. of Dolly. <laughs> so it's a great social clip, right? And you might be saying, well, Brian, how'd you do that camera move there? I kid you not. It's the same clip. But instead of keyframing opacity, we keyframed the position. When I say keyframed, I mean like you're setting a begin point and an end point, and you're making a change at the end point, and you're going to get that movement. So like with this first one, I wanted to start kind of just on her, and then the next keyframe, which is just a camera move, right? Get to this point. It's just moving the position here, and you can see the keyframes highlighted. So this is a really interesting feature of CapCut because this sort of keyframe ability, you're not really going to find that in a, a bare bones type of editor. Even in Premiere Pro, this sort of ease of use for animating is a bit tough. And it's something that you would have to jump to something like After Effects to do. So that's all this is, is just some very simple camera moves, just altering the position with keyframes, and then kind of cutting back and forth. Okay. The other thing that I did with this is I did transcript based editing. So this button right here, if we click this, it's gonna analyze our sequence and it's gonna spit out to me a transcript. Now, so you can see we have now a transcript. Let's say I didn't want her to say I am home. I wanted to say I'm in Chattanooga, okay? I can select that portion, hit delete, and just like in Descript, it cuts out that back feature. This is a free thing. This is not a pro feature. This is built into the free version, okay? Now, the pro version does give you the option to do things like highlight filler words, and it is a bit more robust. But again, this is a feature that is in the free version, right? Right.